Welcome to part number 32 of Need for Speed Underground. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing some more events. We're getting really close to the end. I think everyone has that one level as a kid. Yep, the ones that you hate. Yours Veteran says he hates 3 through 3, so we'll see how bad this one is. We're going to do this one first. Three laps, three opponents, and the third ranking up for grabs. Meet up at Climb Rose Park, and if you want to claim the Triple Crown. <laughs> I815 stares menacingly. I815 was terrible for me back then. Nowadays, it's pretty easy. I really want to try S16 in the Japanese version of GT4. Whoa. Oh, a six lap race on 333. Oh, you were just garbage. <laughs> Yeah, back then, dude, I, I would always get like a 10 minute. Oh, you're talking about an earlier event. Gotcha. I think I know which one you're talking about. I remember doing a six lap race around here before. But anyways, um, yeah, back then I would just get like a 10 minute bronze time on freaking IA15. And now I can pretty much gold it easily because Nürburgring is one of my favorite tracks to drive on. Really? Alright, well the Impreza died with me. Cool. I actually didn't know that UFC vet. What was it like? Regional differences? Is that it? So like instead of Acura RSX, it's like ha uh, Honda Integra Type S or Type R. Instead of Hyundai, Hyundai Tiburon, it's Hyundai Coupe or Toscani or whatever it was called in Japan. You're still bad at GT4. Tried a few races a little while back. No idea how to drive the cars. Yeah, GT4 is kind of funny. Really? They have an NFSU 2J? I was like Naster Maldonado. Or whoever your b spec driver was. Oh yeah, Maldonado. That's right. Dude, I died in the beginning and everyone crashed afterwards at some point of this race. Oh, there's still one more car. You're surprised you managed to do Mission 34 in one hour? Dude, it took like Marvin the Gamer like a whole two weeks to do Mission 34. Hey, what's up, Optech? Did I just summarize every GT Sport race ever? Pretty much. <laughs> Freaking Subaru died. The A in this game is either fucking gods. Or they decide grip is non-existent and smash it to every wall ever. That's pretty much every NFS game. Especially the freaking, um, what's it called? The uh, Underground Racing League ones. Those, race, those races are so dumb. <laughs> Raid one extra viewer, pretty much. Look at us pulling into victory lane. Oh yeah, I'm surprised that this kid couldn't stand waiting for Mission 34 He's ended up turning off my PS2. Oh, as a kid, you couldn't do that. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so next up is top three. Ooh, so we're getting to like the po- Okay, I just realized we might be able to beat the game tonight. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, third attempt at this event. Melissa was on hard is stupid. Difficulty, the romantic AI grip is better than quite literally everything in the known universe. Yes, the eclipse died. <laughs> okay, we won. We're good. 
We are good to the end. I forgot that um, Melissa... Isn't Melissa the final boss of the game? Isn't that like Eddie's girl? I don't even know, Rishi. <laughs> Hoods are slippery when wet. You once won a race where all four of us totaled. It was the last one to total and therefore you won. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had that happen to me in a very long time. Not since like Underground 2, back when like... I was playing on the Xbox days. Yeah, Melissa is the final boss. Why wasn't it Mark DeVellis, the Alliance driver who finished like 20th in standings that year? Well, that was a good way to start our drifting. The ramp in the train at the end. Yeah, that one's really tricky, dude. So it's no surprise that everyone got totaled. Oh my god, dude. GT Sport with underground AI rubber banding everywhere. <laughs> imagine any game with Gran Turismo Sport AI. Oh yeah, dude. Imagine this game. That'd be like the very easy mode. Where the cars are just there. They're not really caring about their surroundings, and they're not really caring about racing. GT Sport with underground drift physics. That'd make the drift modes a lot funner. I don't know, I'm terrible at drifting, so I just want drifting to be much easier. Except for in this game, like this game and Carbon and Underground 2, drifting is relatively easy. Cause will sink through the earth through the depression before it got to that point. GT Sport with Sonic Adventure physics. Oh boy. The GT5 freaking cutscenes are like Sonic Adventure cutscenes. They're so bad. Cool, that was easy. Well, we've unlocked level 3 hoods. Let's see what those level 3 hoods are. I know we have a unique hood, but still. And let's just keep G-Force. I was always awful at drifting in Carbon, but then again, never played it a ton. Yeah, Carbon's alright. Everyone has their thing. Here are the three different styles of cars while trying to prove they're the fastest. I am too, Rishi. Although, that was the first ever, like, level 3 achievement I've ever gotten in sport because I just did drifting over and over again. Yeah, me too. Like, with a wheel? Forget about it. With a controller, it's more manageable. Like, with with a controller, I can do okay, but I'm no Mr. Aero HD. Like, I am not a drift, you know, a drift master by any means. Nope, you're not passing me. As much as I love your body kit, you are not passing me. I think that's a wide body kit he has. Looks like it. Only the GTR safety car into a controlled slide.
You're much better driving with a controller, to be honest. Oh, really? I mean, I was always kind of that wheel elitist back then, where it's like, you know, you have to play with a wheel, man. It's the best experience, man. But then, like, Super Broadband brought up a good point where it's like, you don't have to get a wheel. Like, Super GT on YouTube plays just fine with a controller. Check with the roll run video again. Yesterday had a laugh over your comment saying the guy who was in first had a name saying he was the best. Always gave me a bit of a choke. Yeah, it's true. His name was like Raul el Mejor, which means that Raul the best in Spanish. And like, it's not the best anymore. Boy, he's a second now. Myself and the other S2K who remain in the race. Ooh, got around me. Sorry, sir. Can't allow that to happen. Must go for the accident. And I was successful at it. You're okay with the controller, but a lot less consistent. Yeah, I mean, controllers sometimes, I sometimes do drive with a pad. Like, it depends on the cars themselves. Like, if I'm racing at, let's say, I don't know, um, Blue Moon, I'll drive with a pad sometimes. Okay. So we're dealing with Eddie's Posse next. Okay, and it's a tournament race. All right. So... Part number 33, we're going to be doing Eddie's Posse Part number 1 tournament. Oh boy. I think now is when things are starting to get a little bit crazier in the game itself. 